Assalamualaikum listeners and viewers. This is me, Fahad Junes, your host, and you're watching Meri Kahani. And as you know, in Meri Kahani show, we've been inviting a lot of wonderful celebrities who come from the uh, different parts of the world, and they are doing a lot of great things. And the purpose of this show is actually to motivate a lot of other people who are listening or watching us. And as usual, we are having a special and lovely guest, uh, Muhammad B Al Shorfa, live with us, and he's from Palestine, Gaza. And uh, just uh, let me tell you about little bit about. Uh, Uh, Mohammed Bial Sharifa he is actually an uh, educationist and he is working on uh, something uh, related to education so we will talk about this thing as well and we will uh, know about his story uh, Mohammed brother thank you very much for joining us assalamu alaikum most welcome in our studios how are you doing today wa alaikum assalam everything is all right how are you I'm fine and thank you very much for joining us so Muhammad brother a lot of listeners and viewers are listening and watching you right now uh, they would love to know about you know who is Muhammad and how was his uh, you know past and how was his childhood schooling and what's, what's basically your story okay great uh, I'm Muhammad Sharaf I'm originally from Palestine Gaza city uh, I hold a master degree from the UK in accounting and finance Uh, also I work for a Qatar organization called Education of All that aims mainly to enhance and promote education all over the world and it have a significant project for education in Gaza city because you know people in Gaza they are in real need to, uh, to education so they aim to build a cadre of educated and trained leaders and we work on this we, we implement many initiatives uh, for example we do virtual majlis so our our students they can talk to students all over the world we give them scholarships they can go abroad for international uh, master uh, and even international undergraduate courses so basically these are the main activities that we implement in the, in the field of education uh, i'm also for myself i work as a part time lecturer at the islamic university of gaza where i always meet students so Uh, I hear from students and so we can understand their needs basically in Palestine we have no resources except one resource which is a human capital so a human resource is the only source that we have that's why we need to care about this we need to promote in order to develop our society we have to start from education so the majority of funds that comes here it, it comes for education mainly uh, my plans is to stay within this within this scope mainly for ngos even i do several studies about ngos from the perspective of uh, palestinian uh, lecturers like for example edward said and other people who wrote about palestine the case of palestine the case of uh, education the case of ngos so yes because of the uh, actually in, political conflicts always make governments vulnerable so they cannot give everything to society that's why the, the the role of ngos is increasing and i'm working on this i have to promote the role of ngos so they can actually i'm not saying replace they can complement the government and the work of the government to promote the education perfect amazing uh, so mohammed brother as you told us you are working on uh, such kind of great projects which i can say and is a great contribution from your side so a lot of uh, listeners and viewers would definitely love to know about your work i mean how they can uh, find your work on uh, you know internet and what's the url website and how they can follow you if they want to contact you i mean what are the resources ah uh, yes great first of all they can start by education about all foundation there is a, a website for education about all it's a well known qatar organization it has a page on also on fa- facebook also the program for fakhoura which comes under the umbrella of education about all it has a fakhoura.org website and uh, facebook page twitter as well uh, youtube and every channel so on social media individually if you, they are want to discuss and talk to me yes they can talk to me on my facebook i have facebook account mohammed be a sharafa the same so we can talk we can discuss i usually talk to friends from all over the world even we, i can introduce them to, to other friends so we can all share ideas and so now we come to share to contact me and uh, discuss that time it's my pleasure actually 
Mm-hmm. Wonderful. Thank you very much, uh, Muhammad Brother, for sharing all this information. And uh, you know, a lot of listeners and viewers are uh, listening and watching you right now on different forums. So, uh, do you have any special message? Uh, you know, uh, what uh, you know? If I ask a, a guy from Palestine, wanna say something to you know to world? So, what will be your message? My message to the world is. Um, to help Palestinian people because they actually need to help. To try to know about them. They are amazing people. They are so smart, but they don't have the enough resources to do everything they want. They need their help. They are helpful. They are friendly, so much friendly. Just try to talk to them. Don't be afraid to be in touch with any one of them. This would help us so much. Just talk to us. This is the kind of support that we need. That you acknowledge us. You want to talk to us. You want to share ideas with us. This is I see it as support, solidarity with Palestine. So we can we can send an invitation to everyone that try to add Palestinian friends. Talk to them. Support them as much as we can. I'm not saying about only money, but you, you, you can help them in any any other method you want or on social media. Support uh, Palestinians, Palestinian students. And any other way you, you find suitable for, uh, for this. Mm-hmm. All right, uh, awesome. Uh, thank you very much for this uh, great message. And hopefully, uh, listeners and viewers would definitely, uh, you know, uh, get this message. And uh, as you shared all the stuff, so we really uh, pay tribute uh, that you are doing a lot of great things. And uh, a lot of people would definitely love to support you in this cause. Uh, all right, so uh, Brother Muhammad. Uh, mm-hmm. Would you love to say anything about our show? Uh, yes, it's an amazing opportunity for me actually to interview you and have the, this wonderful discussion. I just want to, to keep uh, on this track, meeting people and introduce people to others so they can know about you, about the cultures, about <laughs> the characteristics of people. It's a great chance and uh, Really, just have a lot of care for this. It's a, an amazing platform for everyone who, can, who wants to speak and introduce himself or herself to others. By doing this, I, I'm sure that you are networking people, and this is part of our understanding that we should know each other. So, as you always say, you see the world and you change it, but by you, we can't see the world, we can see others, so we can change it to the right thing. So, Thank you for this. Thank you very it. much, uh, Brother Muhammad. Your words means a lot, and uh, we are trying to connect. You know, a lot of people from different countries. Uh, uh, we really appreciate the way you are doing things, and uh, our support is with you. And we will be connected in future as well. Yeah, thank you very much, brother. Thank you very much. Thank you very much once again. Uh, take care. Bye bye. Thank you. Wassalam. Wassalam. All right, so you hear the story of uh, Muhammad B. al Shorafa. He was live with us from uh, Gaza, Palestine, and uh, Muhammad is working on education in Gaza. And uh, you can find all the stuff uh, on the links we put in description, and you can contact with him. You can find uh, more about his foundation and the things he is doing. So this was our today's episode. Uh, hopefully you liked it. If you liked it, please share it uh, with your friends and family. And uh, you can also watch other stories on www.medikine.org as well as on Facebook, www.facebook.com slash Kahani. This is me, Fahad Yunus, and this is all from today. See you next week. Take care. Bye-bye. Thank you.